probably slightly different to what I normally do, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this video, and if you are already subscribed, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. The first life hack I have for you is to coordinate your keys using nail polish. So what you need to do is polish or colour the head of the key, like the top bit of the key, uh, and do it to all your keys. It'll spice up your key collection and it'll also allow you to know uh, which keys for what. The next one is if you ever have a power outage or like power failure in your house or town or whatever, all you need to do is get a crayon. If you don't have candles, just get a crayon, light it with a match and it should burn for about three hours. The next one is kind of cheeky, but all you need to do is send emails to big companies, I don't know, Hollister, Walmart, wherever, Asda, wherever, and just say how you are a loyal buyer of all their products, but recently you've been really disappointed and you've bought a product that has really let you down and, you know, the free stuff should come rolling in. This next one is one that I am definitely going to use uh, when or if I have a child. Basically, all you need to do is get them a, a email address and from the minute they are born, send photos, messages, letters, all that kind of stuff to the, that email address of their life. Like, kind of make a scrapbook online uh, and then for their, on their 18th birthday, all you need to do is give them a piece of paper with the username and password and just tell them to log on to it and they should be able to see a huge collection of things that have happened in their life. If you want to be like a proper tumbler or whatever, all you need to do is get a uh, water bottle empty or with water in it, I don't know which one works better. You just break a glow stick, put it in there and set them up like bowling pins and play it outdoor bowling at night. Glow in the dark. I just think that's such a great idea. This is a girly one, but to get super soft legs, all you need to do is shave your legs, then use a sugar scrub or an exfoliating mitt and just exfoliate them mirrors, and then shave again, maybe using a conditioner or a shaving foam, and then moisturise and your legs should be really soft. Also, using a man's razor also gets a really close cut if you just want your hairs to wait a while before growing back. So I'm sure we can all relate to this. During the summertime or any time of the year really, when we want ice cold water to take to school, uh, what happens is we normally put it in the freezer and then we take it out, but the ice doesn't actually melt until the day is over, which is very annoying. Well, all you, there's a new strategy to this, which I am so, so happy about. All you do is uh, fill up a water bottle halfway, put it on its side and place it in the freezer. And then in the morning, take it out and fill the other half uh, with water and you should have ice cold water then whenever you want all through the day. Also, in addition to that, marking out your water bottle with times helps you drink it accordingly. So you can either copy what this person has marked down from this picture here or you can make your own, whatever you want to do. If you want someone to stop texting you because they are a company or whatever, all you need to do is send them this message here. Service error 305. Message delivery failed. Further messages will be charged to your account. So if you've got a relatively small wardrobe, all you need to do is offset your uh, clothes or hangers using a tap off your can of coke. So you hang this part through one hanger and the bottom part through another hanger and it will offset your clothes allowing you to make the most of your space. If you turn a muffin pan upside down and put tortilla shells on them it should make the perfect taco taco shell. I don't know how to pronounce it, that's British problems pronouncing American things. Well I normally relate tacos tacos with America. Spray the pan with cooking oil and place tortillas over the top and bake in the oven for 10 minutes at 375 degrees. If you want to like brighten up your style and have a more quirky style, all you need to do is tie ribbons, colourful ribbons, around your foot like that and then put on a plain pair of dolly shoes and it should 
really bright in your style and I think that could be a new fashion trend. Watch out Vogue, we're coming! The problem with our generation is that we have way too much technology and with technology generally comes wires and chargers and it's very very difficult to keep them all organised and all you do for this is decorate a shoe box or, or use a ribbon box or whatever and cut holes, circles in them and thread your wires through there and caption them with what the wire is for to keep your wires nice and organised and spice up your room to make it look very nice. For a quick and easy iPhone speaker, all you need to do is cut a slit on the top of a toilet roll tube, pop your phone in there and get uh, like drawing pins and stab them into the toilet roll to hold it up and that should be great as an iPhone speaker, you just pop your iPhone in there and let the sound burst out. www.futureme.org allows you to send emails to yourself in the future. I've done this for a year from now saying, oh, I hope uh, this is how you're doing in school, I hope this is how you're doing with this person, and I hope this is how you're doing with YouTube, and all that, and that should arrive uh, on October the 4th, 2015. I'm at that stage where I really, really, really want a tattoo, but obviously they are permanent so it's probably not the best way to go so if you want a long lasting temporary tattoo if that makes sense all you need to do is get a sharpie and draw the tattoo wherever you want most people will want an infinity symbol on the wrist and then rub baby powder on it or just pat baby powder on the tattoo and spray it with hairspray and then just kind of like dust it off and the tattoos are supposed to last for like three months after that But if you're very productive in your life, unlike me, and you will want to do this, then all you need to do is to spice up your uh, pencils for school is to get washi tape that you can't find anywhere in England and just kind of like wrap it around the pen, uh, portrait wise, and then like wrap it around like that. And you have a new and improved pencil. Wow. This is another beauty one, but one thing that goss makeup artists and way too many online forums have taught me is to never dot concealer under your eyes like this. This is something that I always used to do, but instead of dotting it like that, um, kind of spread it downwards in a triangular shape like this as it brightens up the whole face and if you just do it in one area like that, you'll be able to see the bags anyway, even if they're brighter, but if you kind of expand the space, it, they're completely disguised. So when we're just about to uh, apply nail polish, most of us just go, okay, so let's start. But a lot of people have said to, instead of just shaking it, uh, roll it between your hands like that. Because shaking it produces air bubbles, which then are transferred onto the nails. But if you roll it, it still mixes up the nail polish, but you don't get any of them annoying air bubbles on your fingernails. If you go to the beach very often and you want to uh, go somewhere but then you have to take all your valuables with you, well now if you do want to risk it then all you need to do is get an old lotion tube, cut it in half and place all your valuables, slide them all underneath so people will just think it's suntan lotion and they won't pay any attention to it, most likely. If you like me and really, really, really bad at setting phone passwords, all you need to do is set your password as an accented letter on your iPhone. I think that's just such a great idea. An amazing idea. Because no one in the world is going to guess that. I wouldn't even think to guess that for someone's password. So when the ice cream van comes past at night, I'm still, I'm still a child when it comes to getting ice cream, okay? I'll go out to the ice cream van and then I'll get like a bubblegum lolly or whatever and I'll come back and then I'll be on my computer like this uh, and I'll be eating it and then it starts dripping on my computer and I'm like, oh no, that is not good, but the problem is apparently solved. What you need to do is get a like a uh, cupcake holder and just uh, push that through the lolly and the liquid 
all the melted liquid from the lolly will collect in that. Boom! That just messed up my hair. Wikipedia to me is probably the best place to get school answers from for like an essay or whatever. But the problem is I'll go onto it and there'll be so much stuff that I'm just not interested in and it's just I don't understand most of the words. So what you do is replace the EN on the Wikipedia URL with simple to strip away the complex and irrelevant information on the article, which is basically all of it. Is it just me that when I watch a movie, a, do a dog's death is more upsetting than a human death? I don't think it is just me. Maybe this is the people. I don't know. But sometimes by the end of the film, you're just like, well, what happened to the dog? Did it die? Did it stay alive? What, what did it, is it alive? What happened to it? Well, all you need to do that is go on to doesthedogdie.com and type in almost any film and it'll tell you whether the dog uh, survived, got hurt, or was killed. Problem solved. This one is one that has bugged me for a long, long time, and it's basically I'm just telling you that a life hack to make your life so much more easier is it is not. I could care less if you're in an argument with someone and they go, "All oh, right, well, I'm, I'm better than you," and then you go, "I could care less." That's wrong. It doesn't make any sense. It's I couldn't care less. Because saying I could care less says that you care, you care a lot because you could care less than what you're already caring. But saying I couldn't care less is saying I'm so not bothered at all that I couldn't even care any less. So it's I couldn't care less. Just a life tip for you. Those are a collection of 25 life hacks for all you people out there that just have a very complicated life and you want to make it easier. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Have a beautiful day and don't forget to stay positive. Bye!